Hey guys, Marion here. So this video is going to be um, food related and I'm going to make Chrissy Teigen's food for the next seven days. So today is a Monday and I will be making her food until Sunday. And I will be choosing the recipes based on the ingredients that I already have in my kitchen. But I will be like adding some more stuff as um, time passes by. So I've already chosen some recipes and I will be showing you in the next slide. Okay guys, so it's day two and you know it's going to be banana cake when you see, you know, the bananas overriping. Today I'm having Chrissy Teigen's um, sweet potato gnocchi and okay so I've never eaten gnocchi before and I've never made it and today is going to be the first time that I try it and I don't know if I will like it or not it's sweet and you know it has that parmesan taste although Chrissy Teigen's one do, uh, uses ricotta so it won't be the same taste but I think it's nice day two is a success later I will be making her um, banana bread but into muffins so I went to the grocery store just now to get some um, instant pudding for Chrissy Teigen's like banana bread but I couldn't find any so today I'll be making Olivia Culpo's banana bread instead so innovative Make it in a pot. I don't have enough bowls. It's coming along quite nicely. Hey guys, it's day 3 today and I'll be making a pasta and also a salad um, for dinner. So it's a capri salad and also an arugula, a lemony arugula pasta. Stay tuned. Okay, this is a fail. <laughs> Alright, so I'm making the pasta right now. And I'm just adding a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of um, Domino's this is Domino's Chili Flakes. Just a little bit. I think that's good. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then I'm gonna put in my pasta inside. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's 
So I also prepared this Capri salad. I didn't have time to show you because I was busy with the pasta. But yeah, this is it. And this is the lemony, lemony arugula spaghetti. It doesn't look as nice because I think I overcooked it. But this is my meal for today. Hey guys, it's the fourth day today and um, I'll be making Chrissy Teigen's super tuna melt. And um, But I don't have some of the ingredients like the Dijon mustard or the um, relish. So I'll be making like a similar kind of taste with my fermented uh, pickles. So, I don't know if it looks the same, but let's give it a try. I think it's a success. I can taste my pickles. I can taste the American cheese. And I definitely can taste the tuna and the mayonnaise. I think the apple is a success. Yay! Hi guys, it's the fifth day today and I'm just gonna take like a big bowl and harvest some Thai basil. Anyway, I will be making Chrissy Teigen's uh, pad fra pao, something like um, chicken cooked with uh, basil, Thai basil. And then I'm also gonna make, make some hash browns because I'm craving for some um, potato chips. So this is my solution for it. So yeah, these are all the Thai basil that I'll be harvesting. Okay guys, so the first is the hash brown that I made and I did have a box grater so I had to like use my knife to like slice it thinly but this is the result of it. Mmm. I think it's really good. So the next one is this. Um, I've never had chicken with Thai basil before because I usually cook it with um, since it was more zero waste but just for this recipe I'll try it out once and wow. the herb really goes perfectly together with chicken it's better than with prawns actually <laughs> I made extra so I'll have this for um, lunch tomorrow so I think day five it's a success. Hey guys, today is day six and I'm feeling a little bit lazy so I chose a really really simple um, recipe to cook for dinner today. So the recipe that I chose is Chrissy Teigen's um, spicy tomato skillet eggs with prosciutto but it won't be spicy because well, I don't eat spicy. And I'll be using my homemade um, tomato sauce for this instead of Chrissy Teigen's tomato sauce because like I said, I don't have the time and I'm quite lazy. I'm gonna put some chili flakes.
So this is the finished product. I'm going to eat it with some bread. I just have this. This is what it looks like out of the pan. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I can taste my tomato sauce. Mm, it's okay, I guess. I would prefer a salad. Not my favorite. Oh no, guys. As you can see from my previous clip, you would know that my macaroni pasta has been contaminated. There's mold growing on it. I was actually planning on making mac and cheese today because today is the last day of my like um, Chrissy Teigen recipe week. And you know, I was thinking of closing it with a bang with a mac and cheese, but that's not gonna happen because I'm not gonna eat that. So I'll be making a Mexican sweet corn because I have the um, ingredients already and I'll also be making a simple like roasted potatoes so stay tuned and hope that you enjoy this video so far I'll be using um, Chrissy Teigen's roasted garlic oil that I've had for like a week now and I'm going to um, cook some potatoes I'm also going to make some roasted cauliflower because I'm hungry so this is the garlic oil and I'm just going to preheat in the oven first. Next, I'm just going to put half an onion and rosemary to the um, potato yeah, potato mix. The potatoes are in. I'm leaving that space for the cauliflower. So the cauliflower is just gonna be um, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Okay, so while the potatoes and cauliflower is cooking, I'm going to grate some of this um, cheese. So here I've crumbled some um, feta cheese over the parmesan that I've grated. And I've also added black pepper. And instead of using, um, instead of using oil, I um, put butter all over the corn. And I will be cooking it on this um, pan. So this is the corn, um, there's some parts that's black and some parts that's you know, not black. I'm going to put the corn on the cheese mixture. I'm just going to put some cilantro right there. So this is the Mexican street corn, adapted. Mm. It's cooking quite nicely. Hey guys, I got so hungry just now that I already ate like two um, of these corns. And let me just tell you, it tastes super nice. I love it. So these are the potatoes. I think they turned out really well. The outside is really crunchy. Hey guys, so it's you know, finally done. I finished my seven days of cooking Chrissy Teigen's food and um, I just want to reflect on it. So there are three things that I just want to say um, that the food that I ate was, you know, completely different from my normal diet. What you see in this video is so different from what I usually eat. One of my foot actually um, got hive so it's like super itchy so I'm not sure if I'm allergic to some of the ingredients because I ate a lot of cheese a lot of meat um, during this past week and you know my body is not used to it I guess and the second thing is that I tend to crave more junk food um, during this week and the last thing is uh, that I created a lot of waste doing, uh, during this one week that I did in the last three months. So, you know, I had to buy a lot of things in plastic like all the cheese and some of the vegetables and some of the meat. So, I definitely created a lot of waste doing this. But 
um, I just wanted to try cooking new things. I bought this book because of that and you know, I don't want to let the book go to waste. Uh, people put their you know, work to creating this book and you know, once I've tried most of the recipes, I'm going to give it away. So yeah, that's something my followers can look forward to in the future. So if you've um, you know finished watching the video, thank you so much for watching. And you know if you uh, want me to film any of the specific recipes that I've mentioned, do let me know in the comment section. I will you know create a specific video just for that recipe. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at Marion St. John, and you know also read my blog at newrello.com. So yeah, bye.